Let's take a look at questions 13 through 18 from the New York State Chemistry Regions, June 2016. All right, with question 13, you're asked which changes will result in the fastest rate of reaction. Well, there are facts that relate to rate of reaction. Really, what you want is you want to have collisions and what your teacher probably called effective collisions. That means the right amount of energy and the proper orientation or angle. So anytime that we have more interaction between the reactants, in this case a solid, which is iron, and aqueous um, hydrochloric acid, the faster it's going to react. Well, sure enough, it turns out that increasing the surface area of the iron, for example, grinding it up, and increasing the concentration of HCl is your answer. This is what I'm going to call also a two-for-one question. You actually have to answer both parts of the answer correctly in order to get it right. So, of course, always start with the one, which is increasing surface area. You would have crossed out choices three and four because decreasing surface area would not increase the rate of reaction here, and then find increasing concentration of HCl, or choice one. All right, let's move on. Question 14, which process is commonly used to separate a mixture of ethanol and water? Well, of course, you got to remember that a mixture, you need to know definitions here, is two or more substances that are just physically combined. They're not it's not a chemical reaction, they're just mixed with one another. And of course, you want to also know your definitions for your four choices. You're dealing with two liquids here, ethanol and water. So it's going to be separation by boiling point, which is distillation. Let's move to question 15. Sample of hydrogen gas will behave most like an ideal gas under conditions of. This is a fact. Again, need to know it. Shows up all the time. Low pressure, high temperature. Just know it. Know your facts. Know your definitions. Question 16. Collision theory states that a reaction, uh, reaction is like... I'm sorry. The collision theory states that a reaction is most likely to occur when the reactant particles collide with... I mentioned it up here in question 13. Again, fact, 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 energy, and orientation. Question 17 at STP, which sample contains the same number of molecules as 3 liters of H2? Well, if you're at STP, you're going to have the same number of, in this case, molecules as long as the volumes are the same. So that's all you're looking for, is your matching volumes, which is choice 3. That, again, I'm going to say is a fact. And 18, addition of a catalyst to a chemical reaction provides an alternative pathway that, once again, we're dealing with a fact, it decreases the activation energy. Remember your potential energy diagram? That lump in the middle, right? Your teacher probably drew a dotted line, or when you decrease the activation energy, you speed up the reaction. So lots of facts here, a couple of definitions, write them down. Go over them, work hard, keep practicing, and good luck.